Hey guys, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and today I want to show you how to use the Cozy Clicks Photoshop Action Starter Pack. Now, this is the most popular and least expensive pack over in our shop, and I didn't have a video tutorial of it. So, for those of you asking, here is how to use and what these actions look like. Now, I already have them loaded up here in my actions panel. And if your actions don't look like this right now, it's probably because you're not in button mode. So to get there, you're just going to click on these horizontal lines up on the upper right hand side and you'll click where it says button mode, the first one. So here's how yours might be looking right now um, to make them look more organized just click button mode and they're all here for you. Now the starter actions come with a play all button on all of the actions here. They come with one click finishes and also a play all button on those finishes. And they come with three brushes and once again, a play all for those brushes. So you get all of this in that action pack. Um, now, I already have these actions loaded up down here. Um, and so I'm going to start first with the actions and just show you what these look like and how easy it is to change the look of your photo. I'm going to show you on an outdoor image and then I have an indoor image to also show you. So with these actions loaded up, you've got film and you just click there. There's film, color boost, subtle matte light and airy, whimsical, bold, vintage, old school, a creamy black and white, and classic black and white. Now with the actions, the cool thing about these is that you can open them up and you can turn off and on and adjust the opacity of any part of the action. So let's say we had clicked on vintage. You can open up the action right here and you're going to see a few different pieces to that action. If you want to turn off part of it, you can. If you want to click on part of it and adjust the opacity to your liking, either more or less of something, you can do that very easily. If you want to take a black brush and brush off part of your image, you can do that as well. So there's a lot of options that you can do to make the image look the way you want and make it creative for you. Now these actions, like I said, also come with the one click finishes and these are already loaded up in here too. You've got five different one click finishes and unlike the actions, these ones are meant to click and leave. So there's moody, clean, warm, blush, and pretty in pink. Now, these ones will not open all the way up, but you can still brush them off parts of your image and you can still adjust the opacity up here to your liking. So if we had pretty and pink on and we wanted it just a little bit less, you could adjust that opacity right there. Finally, you're also going to get three different brushes. These you use a little bit differently. You're going to see when you load them in, the layer mask is going to be set to black. To use these, you're going to have to turn them on. And when you turn them on, you're not going to see anything just yet. You're going to have to click on the brush you want to use down here. And you're going to select a white brush. Okay. Then you're just going to brush on the areas that you want. So here is our darken brush right here. And you can darken the whole image or just certain parts of the photo with that. We'll turn that one off. Here's the light brush. So if maybe you wanted to lighten up the ground or maybe her dress or certain parts of the image, you could do that with the light brush. And then there's also the color brush. So to add in more bold, rich color, wherever you'd like, you just take that brush and you brush it on to add that extra color. Now, the cool thing about this starter pack is that you can also double up these actions. You can put on two, three, four, any combination you'd like to make it look the way you want to. Um, so I might put on uh, maybe subtle matte and the clean. And that gives it kind of a cool look there. You could add on, maybe I'll put on moody too and see what that looks like. And that gives it kind of a deep moody look. So there's really a lot of things you can do within this action pack to make it look right for you.
Now, I also wanted to show you how these actions would work on an indoor photo. So now I have her inside and I have the actions loaded up here. I just want a quick run through and show you what they would look like on an indoor photo. So here we've got classic black and white, creamy black and white, old school, vintage, bold, whimsical, light and airy, subtle matte, color boost, and film. So these actions work both indoor and outdoor and really give you a lot of cool combinations. If you want to check out these actions, you can by going to CozyClicks.com forward slash starter pack. Have fun editing and thanks so much for watching. To learn more about basic photography, finding the light, and getting creative with your portraits, you can join me in my free online workshop, The Photography Boot Camp. Register for that by going to CozyClicks.com forward slash boot camp.